hi guys hi guys so right now we are actually at the starbucks drive through i really wanted to do this video to try a bunch of the new fall drinks and treats at starbucks i really want to get into the fall spirit so they have a bunch of their fall items out and i really just want to sit down and try them with you guys oh hold on i'm about to order Hi there. Hi, how are you? Can I please get a tall iced apple crisp macchiato, please, with oat milk? The pumpkin spice frappuccino, also a tall with oat milk. Do you want the whipped cream on it still? Yeah, the whipped cream's okay. And then the pumpkin cream cold brew, please, a tall as well. Can that one be with oat milk as well, please? Can I also get the pumpkin scone and then the pumpkin cream cheese muffin? Lastly is a fox cake pop. I just ordered the drinks that took way too long i feel bad i saw my friend emma do this i'll link her channel down below but she does a lot of these videos where she tries a bunch of starbucks drinks so make sure you guys check out her video she definitely inspired me to do this i got three drinks in total and then three of the treats like the pastries so i'm excited i honestly don't really drink coffee as much anymore but for this video i'm so happy to i literally had to put my hair up because it's hot i got the goods i don't know which one to try first i got them all with oat milk but the frappuccino i got it with whipped cream because i love my whipped cream i'll understand if you don't understand why i get it with whipped cream if i get oat milk just whipped cream hits different i'm literally about to try it this is the tall pumpkin frappuccino with oat milk okay the oat milk makes it taste so good mm. mm-hmm I didn't bring any water. I seriously forgot, so I'm like kind of stupid. I don't know which one to try next. The pumpkin spice frappuccino is so good. Are you guys excited for fall? Let me know. Fall is literally one of my favorites besides spring. Oh, okay. So this one is a pumpkin cream cold brew. Not a fan of cold brew. I think that's just that I don't really care to try it or enjoy it. So oh my gosh but that smells so good i'm sure you guys know that starbucks is not the best coffee in the world right but starbucks is very accessible accessible to everybody so why not try to love it and if you guys didn't know i actually did work with starbucks coffee in 2019 and it was one of the coolest collaborations sponsorships partnerships whatever that i've ever done it was so cool i'll put a bunch of pictures and videos here but i even vlogged it i didn't vlog like the actual set because that was part of the contract i was there for two days i was with my boyfriend and he was there just for support and it was so much fun getting to shoot and meet different people this was obviously before covid that's why i think i have so much love for starbucks pumpkin cream cold brew let's freaking see i don't know if i should mix it but then again the cream is probably like where it's at you know just what i expected it's very very bitter the cream does help with like sweetness a little bit you can definitely taste the pumpkin for sure that is that's cold brew mm -mm. no i'm so sorry but cold brew is not for me i feel like now i need to taste the cake pop because that just like that was in my mouth okay let's taste the cake pop this is oh she's all melty already i'm so i'm so oh uh, it's melted but it was a fox i'm so sorry that's how you know it's hot okay i'm gonna take a bite mm -hmm. okay enough of that that's good that's literally just vanilla right that's literally just vanilla it reminds me of the birthday cake cake pop because that one's really sweet you guys i remember in high school my starbucks order was literally a venti cotton candy frappuccino with a birthday cake cake pop i don't know why i got everything cotton candy this one is super interesting and i'm so excited to try it it's their newest drink it's the apple crisp macchiato i got it iced with oat milk i really love the caramel macchiato so let's see if this will do something all of the flavoring is at the bottom so i'm going to have to mix it even though it looks cute like that i have heard mixed reviews about this a lot of people have said it tastes like a bath and body works candle does it smell like one mm. 
that does smell really sweet this is interesting this is an interesting video i've never done anything like this so i love that pretty sure i mixed most of it so now it's time to try Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I see what people are saying that it does taste <laughs> like a candle it's like you take a sip and then at the very end that's where it hits you and like you can taste it a lot we already know I love my frappuccinos I'll literally get it just tall a car just pulled up next to me and I'm kind of uncomfortable but i'll just keep going i'm kind of haunted from always getting a venti when i was little so now i get talls the frappuccino is always a hit the cold brew is not my favorite like i'm not a big fan of it i'm literally trying not to look over there just because it's cold brew and it's not sweet the cream is my favorite it's just once the cold brew hits i i i can't for the apple crisp macchiato this is a very interesting drink this is the most interesting drink I've ever had from Starbucks. I don't think I would finish it. I don't think I would get it again. It's just not my cup of tea. If you're really into like apple flavored drinks, like go for it. It definitely does taste like fall, if I'm being honest. So the Frappuccino wins, always. Pumpkin spice always wins. Mm. Mm hmm. We'll finish the cake pop later. It's kind of sad. We have two pastries to try. I'm so excited for both of them. Let's try. Which one? Which one? Which one? Oh my gosh. So this is the pumpkin muffin with cream cheese in the middle. Oh my gosh. She looks gorgeous. Take a good look. Look how good that is. You can even see the pumpkin seeds. So they did warm it up for me. I want to try it smells so good. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. That tastes like pumpkin goodness. I want to try the cream cheese. Mmm. That tastes so good. I'm saving that for later. Okay. Last but not least is the pumpkin scone. This one is so pretty as well. Oh, she's so cute. Hold on. She is so cute. Oh, I'm like spilling everywhere. Okay. Smells, doesn't really smell like pumpkin. It smells more like, like I feel like I can smell the frosting more. You've gotta be kidding me. I love when the frosting is so hard, but like once it gets into your mouth, it like melts smoothly. I guess it doesn't really melt. It's just like, it's chewable. Mmm. That's good. If I were to choose from all the pastries, my favorite would be the scone, for sure. The pumpkin scone, it was so good. And then for the drinks, the pumpkin spice frappuccino, always. And honestly, I feel like people think it's overhyped. It's really not. I am so proud of myself for doing this. And there's like been two cars right next to me. So that is it, guys. I tried all three drinks. I know I didn't try any of the hot drinks, but you know me. But as I said, I literally can't stand hot drinks, especially when it's 106 degrees outside. I also tried the pastries. So I'm so happy. I love Starbucks. Starbucks is like the place to go when you have nowhere else to go or Duncan if you guys want me to do a Duncan one Let me know in the comments. Thank you for sitting here watching me chug my Starbucks drinks eat my Starbucks pastries It was just so nice to talk to you guys if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe to my channel I'd love to have you guys be a part of my fam. Thank you guys again for watching. I love you I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye